guys welcome back to my channel um today we're gonna do like a japan snacks haul slash try um as you can see i have chris here with me he finally said yes to doing a video with me so here Pucky. we are Pucky, what you don't have anything say hi hi oh my god it's gonna take a bit of you know getting used to it was Chris's like first proper video, you know, I, I know he's been in a few of my vlogs and um, you know, other videos, but this is our proper like sit down, look straight into the camera kind of video. So give him a thumbs up for his efforts today, okay guys? Yeah, so we bought a, like so many snacks from Japan and we just wanted to um, try it um, on camera and I guess we'll just rate a few of the snacks that we got. Japan was amazing guys and I know I haven't, this video will probably go up before any of the vlogs because I haven't had time to like sift through the footage. I have so much footage but in general Japan was amazing and yeah we just got a bunch of snacks here in front of us and we're going to review them for you guys today. So we're gonna start off with the Kit Kats. That's mine. We've got like five different types of Kit Kats. So this one we got. I think we should start with savory and then and maybe um Fanta palettes. But we don't know what savory is, babe. Um, well Kit Kat is sweet. Yeah, I know. Fanta palettes and then we'll um transition into sweets. All right. Followed S by drinks. Okay. All right, well, the only savory thing that I can see is the chips. All right, well, let's start off with savory then. So we've got a packet of these aerial chips. We actually have had these before, but um, these are the cheddar cheese flavor. It's made out of corn, so they're like little corn puffs. Yeah. Oh, it's you get like um, a strong cheese yeah. flavor. It smells really, really cheesy. Yeah. Cheese. Mm. Yep. Yep. Like we've tried them before, but we actually haven't tried the cheddar cheese one. This is probably my all-time top five favorite chips, to be honest. So good, crunchy, but then melts in your mouth. Mm. Corny, like you can taste like you know just delicious like corn. Little pillows of air, and then you put it in your mouth, and then you crush the air <laughs> of flavor. Yeah. Mm. Ten out of ten. Shot of the bat, 10 out of 10. What about you, babe? What? Yeah, yeah, definitely 9 out of 10. We even tried Googling, like, if they're available in Australia. Because this is our last packet, but, um, we didn't find any here. Um, I can actually... Maybe uh, on eBay. I made, I made some contacts through eBay, and, uh... Contacts. I will be... I'm in the process of ordering some. <laughs> okay. So, if you guys... We'll put that on the link below. Yeah, if we do get some, we'll... Put on the, on the link below. <laughs> um, so you guys know where to get them from Australia. Next, I'm gonna go. Uh, look, I don't even know if these are savory, but let's just try these. I don't even know what they're called. It's all in Japanese, but it's like little biscuits, I guess, with uh, some filling inside. Tell them where you got them in Japan. Where did I get them? Yeah. I don't know, like, well, most of these snacks I got was from Don, Don Quixote. Don Quixote. <laughs> and I think we got some from the $1 shop. I don't know what it was called. Um, Pepe. Pepe? Yeah. Yeah. Pepe, like, it was like this $1, oh, one, yeah, like a 100 yen shop. Some of the snacks are from there, but most of the snacks are from Don Quixote. Here we have, um, sort of like a sandwich cookie um, type. Yeah, so this one's, this one, this looks, this one looks kind of savory. Which one are we trying to find? This trying? one. This one. This one's got like a little kid on it. It looks like a lice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not very sweet. Sort of like um lemon crisp without the lemon. You know lemon crisps? You know lemon crisps? Yeah. Without the lemon. No. That's not the lemon crisp biscuit. It just tastes like a like a bis like a biscuit. What do I know? What filling is that? It's like a vanilla filling. It's like a buttery filling. Mm. Yeah, like a buttery, vanilla-y filling. Like the picture tells a thousand words, really. Because you've got to stick a butter on this on the back. <laughs> <laughs> is that butter? Out of 10, I'd probably give it a, a, a strong 7. Yeah, I'd probably give it like a 7. 
Like it's yummy, but there's not much to it. There's you no know what distinct mean? excitement and flavor explosions or anything. Yeah. This one's the red packet. It looks very similar to the other one. Very similar, but I this think one's it's the got same. like. Is it the same brand? Yes, yeah, it's the same brand. Yeah. But this so one's I'm got this like one... a pattern on the edge. Yeah, of the I'm guessing this one's a different flavor of some sort. You need to learn to not talk over each other. One, two, three. Mmm, this one's lemony. This one tastes like lemon crisps. Yeah. The other one tastes just like exactly the same, but with no lemon in it. Yeah, this one's actually got a hint of lemon, but see, there's no lemon on there as well, so you wouldn't even know. I like this one better than that one, actually. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna give this one an eight. It's more toward the lemon crisp. I'll give it a seven as well. <laughs> there's this blue packet as well. It's got like a brown chocolatey kind of biscuit oh this one looks interesting this one looks like an oreo chris is drinking by the way guys in this video we're in isolation like i guess most of australia is right now everyone's health and mental health drop 30 to 40 percent babe no we, we, we're not talking about that right now in this video but just letting you know we're not condoning this at all. We're not saying, you know, in isolation, everyone needs to drink to boost their mental health. But Chris has been on the drinks. And I think it was just to calm his nerves for the video, to be honest. Mm. Mm. It's like, not quite chocolate. It's not chocolate. But it's like, cocoa powdery. Yeah. You know, like, it's like, Cocoa powder, but it's not like a deep chocolate flavor. Um, I rate it a strong seven. I'm giving this one a six. I don't really like it. I don't really like it because it's like a fake chocolate toast. This one's the same as the ones in the boxes, you know, the biscuits, but it's in a packet form. There's berries on the packet, so <laughs> it could be a berry flavor biscuit. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> I can't deal with you. Mmm. Do you like that? I love that. I don't. It's weird. It's like a whole milly flavour. Don't like it. I love that. I love how you can have... There's the hints of berries. It's reminding me of something I ate in my childhood. It's really nice. Yeah. It's like a Pop-Tart. Or some weird Lao stuff. Like a strawberry Pop-Tart. I don't think so. Mmm. I'm gonna give that an 8. I'll give that a strong 4 out of 10. Really? Yes. Um, this one is Sakura biscuits with like this pink filling and very like delicate. Fun fact, Japanese people are small. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes weird. It's like white chocolatey. It's got a bit of a chew to it. Um, but yeah, there's no real like distinct flavor like surprising. There's a hint of something at the back of my mouth right now. Mm, like a tea. Yeah, yeah, like tea, like mm. tea leaves. But it's not like nothing. Wow. It's, I'm gonna mm. let me go buy 10 packets of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with your sarcasm right now. I'm gonna give that a five. I'll give it a strong six. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna look at this chocolate biscuit. It's like a chocolate biscuit with coated in Are these chocolate. actually made in Japan? But everything's like really like tiny. And that and packaging like is extraordinary, really. Now look at that. Look at that little yeah. tiny biscuit. And you get like a tiny. And there's on a plaque of chocolate. On a plaque. Cheese. Cheese. Oh yeah. Could be a little, a little bit of nuts. Some nuts happening. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. The chocolate's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. And then you've got that biscuity. Shortbread as well. Ooh, nice. You get more chocolate than biscuit. And the chocolate's not overly sweet actually. It's quite nice. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna give that It's very Moorish. I'm gonna give that like yeah, a seven and a half. I'll give that an eight out of ten. <laughs> this one is the same as this one, but it's white chocolate. Looks like it's some kind of vanilla bean mm. and ice cream flavour based on the the picture there. So again the same. It's got a little tiny biscuit at the back, chocolate plaque at the front. Mm. That is really nice white chocolate. 
sort of like the Nestle white truffle we get at home. It's like that, like that. Mm. This is the biscuits really nice again, like in the last time. Mm. It's so, very creamy. Like I'll give that a strong eight out of ten. It's very vanilla very. Mm. Very, very vanilla. Like I said, it's a strong um Nestle, like a Nestle white chocolate creaminess. What's Nestle white chocolate? Oh, like Milky Way. Like Dream. Yeah, like Nestle. Yeah, it kind of tastes like Dream. Dream is Cadbury. Do you even know anything? <laughs> I'd give that... What did I give the chocolate one? I'd give that an 8. That one That one was nicer than the chocolate one. Yeah, true. Next, I'm going to just um try these. Just because we opened this for Elias because he was crying for one. <laughs> but this is the Matcha Pockies. I can already imagine what they're going to taste like. It's nice. It's really it's a strong. strong matcha flavor. Yeah. It's like very dry, like not dry as in the biscuit, like a dry flavor from the matcha. Mm. Mm. But you can't have too many of them. Yeah, it's a very strong. It's a very good snack to have. It's a, it's a very strong matcha flavor. Like if you don't like green tea, you're not going to like this. Yeah. But even if you have like a nice cup of tea with this, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah. I'd, I'd give it like a, a, a six. I second that, I'll give it a strong 6 out of 10. Mm. So we've got a bunch of these um, biscuit thingies and they come in these like long cylinder packets. This first one looks like it's a chocolate biscuit there. Ooh, and it's so cute. Like look how mini they are and it comes out in like the packet like that. <coughs> mm. Chocolate chip cookie. Chunky chocolate chip cookie. Straight up. But not as good as the 40% ones you get from Coles, the chunky chocolate. I love this. This is really good. I'll give that a strong 7 out of 10. It's not too sweet. You can taste the bitterness of the chocolate. I'm, I love this. I think I'm going to give it a 9. Next up, we've got this white one. Doesn't really have, looks like it's like a white cream. Could be mm. vanilla. This one's got like two thin biscuits, yeah. like it's like a little sandwich. sandwich. A little cookie sandwich. Mmm. It's very light. Mm. Not as like doughy, like co mm. cookie as the one. I'll give it a strong mm. eight out of ten. I can taste the butter, butter, mm. butteriness afterwards. Like very chocolatey. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. It's like really thin biscuit with the vanilla. What do you rate it? I'm gonna give that. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a strong eight. This one's the purple one. Looks like it's gonna be chocolate. Mm. I think it's gonna be the same as the one we had the yeah, other one. Yeah, so that's the like, same. Um, so how it's like chocolate inside. Got a thin the... layer of biscuit with the yeah. filling inside. Mm. 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 It's almost like a wafer. Mm, like a very, very, very thin shortbread. It's like wafer thin, like the biscuit. The filling's all right. Mm. I'll give that a strong 7 out of 10. The feeling's kind of like fake chocolate. You know, it's like really sweet. It doesn't really taste it's like chocolate. It's like the difference between Nutella and Nutino. <laughs> I'll give that a strong 7. These are for kids. They're like little... Um, yeah, this I'm Super Mario. It's me, Mario. <laughs> yeah, we got this little Mario thingy for Elias, really. But I don't yeah. know. I think it's gummy. Babe, legit. It's like little gummies. Oh, oh my god, one, it's Mario shape. This one's Mario shape. I don't know if you can see it because it's like gummy shape. But yeah, so. Yeah, it's little shapes of Mario. It's just little gummies. Hey, Mario. Oh! Mm. Is yours bubble gum? Yeah. No, mine's like. Mmm. Mm, mine has like bubble gum, a little bit of coke coming out. Yeah, it's like cross between gummy worms and Starburst. Like the strong flavor of Starburst. Star yeah, Starburst. They always get their flavors down packed. Mm. And then oh, it's, it's like interesting. gummy. It's very, yeah. very strong. Like, yeah. fla like it's very tasty. Uh, Mario, and it's not too sweet. Yeah. Mario was a cola flavor. It was really nice. What was your one? Mine was like a bubble gummy, cola y flavor. But what, what was the character? <laughs> Oh, Mario. I think so. <laughs> I want to give that a strong seven. I would give that a strong six because not because of the product, because I'm not really into um, lollies Gummies. as such. I like big things. Hershey's matcha choco donuts. What do the matcha choco donuts look like? That looks cool. They look legit. Do you like it? No. 
strong matcha flavor. The chocolate's nice. The actual donuts itself, it's, it's a bit dry. No, the, do the donut is horrendous. It's like so dry. I wouldn't say horrendous. It's horrendous. I wouldn't even take another bite of this. I'll give that a strong... No. Four and a half. Nah. Ten. Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm going to give that like a one. I'd give the one to the chocolate and the chocolate's not even good. It's not even good chocolate. The donut is horrendous. It's so dry, not spongy, but even the dry, like, flour, the dough itself is not nice. It's not... Yeah, no. Um, no, I'm just going to give that one a one. I'm sorry. We got some more Hershey's um, goodies, but these are mochi. So, if you guys don't know what mochi, mochi is, it's like rice flour, babe. Yeah, it's like a like rice flour, gluttonous, gluttonous yeah, gluttonous, gluttonous flour. Uh, gluttonous. Gluttonous glue. Gluttonous glue. Um, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to say Italian Jungle Factory? Yeah. It's Augustus glue. Yeah, Augustus know, glue. But that's just an analogy. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this reminds me of uh, when we had it in, in um, Japan, in Kyoto, in the Nishiki markets. Mm. Oh yeah, we had yeah. like these strawberry mochi. They were, they were really delicious. Fresh strawberries, strawberry in the in the mochi. Um, it was quite delicious. It brings back memories. I don't know how good this one's gonna be because it is pre-packaged. So we got two flavors. We got which one's which? Matcha. The green one's matcha. And this one's green. And this one is choco. No, that one's choco. So we're gonna try out the choco one we'll first. We'll try the choco one first, and we'll see how that one goes. Uh, I feel like Japan is very heavily matcha, yeah. you know, matcha everything. Yeah. But, um, so this is Choco Mochi by Hershey's. It's very squishy. It's very gluttonous. As what mochi gluttonous. is. Mmm. I like the texture. Mmm. So that's the chocolate inside? So yeah. That's what it looks like inside. It's beautiful, actually. So it's the like texture. squishy, glutinous. I don't think it'll be like everyone's cup of tea, the texture of it. Yeah, it's like, if you guys haven't tried mochi before, it's it might be like... It's a very distinct texture. Because mm, it's very, like, squishy. Yeah, even you know? the, the fresh ones are even more squishy than that. The chocolate's nice. I like that. I'm going to give yeah. it a solid 7. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Next, we're going to try the matcha flavour one. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm excited for this. It's mm. um, flavour... I don't think I'm gonna like it. Yeah. I'm scared. Um, I'm not scared, but I'm I'm filled with excitement at the moment. All right. So this one's like green. Yeah. Squishy. Squishy. I thought it was gonna be matcha filling, but it's actually a chocolate filling. With um. So it must be the dough that's matcha. And it's not that intense matcha flavor, like you get in the poke. Yeah. Mm. I like it. I like it. I'm going to give it a 7 again. It's not really... Yeah, not really distinctive. Like, wow. It's just like sweet... An amazing flavor. Mochi with chocolate. Oh. Okay. Our brothers um, cracked into these already. But there's these chocolates that we got. I don't even know what flavors they are. But Alright, so this one okay, says... <laughs> cacao. So, I don't know what could be just chocolate flavor, really. Cacao is chocolate. Yeah. But it just says cacao, so it's like what? It's just chocolate. They're like little truffles. Yeah, little truffles. Oh, look at them! It's like a little like truffle cube. It's a um, truffle goodness. Mmm. Ooh. Mm. That's solid. That's nice. Oh whoa. Show the camera what's in there. It's really, really strong. Excuse the manicure. In isolation. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, very rich. That's the word I was looking for. It's very mm. rich, isn't it? It's like you go to one of those um, chocolatey shops where they make their own chocolates. Mm. That's the quality of the chocolate. It is really good quality. Packaged into little pieces. Like, mm. that's Japan. You know, that is Japan confectionery to a tea. Wow, it's very rich. I'm actually needing a bit of water. I'm going to give that one a strong seven and a half. Um, out of 10. It was just too rich for me. Like, it was nice, but it was just too dark. Right, and the next one is, looks like, it says cookie. Cookie chocolate. So, might be like cookie dough. That's another thing I'm going to mention is, um, watch as I open up the pack of here. 
the the variety the variety of um, confectionery chips is like a, ten times more than Australia's shelves. Yeah, like it's, it's crazy, so different. Guys. You don't even know what you're buying. Like it's, there's like ten different types of matcha flavored, like chocolates and all that, and just like it's just crazy how much variety there is. Like for a tourist go and try to bring back. If you need like about five suitcases just to get one of each. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy guys. Like there's like there's like twenty flavors of Kit Kat. A whole floor filled with snacks. Like anything, you name it. Cookies, chocolates. And like, that's just one shop. And then you get to another shop you got different yeah. varieties as well. So this one's like um a dome kind of shape. Mm. Mm. Ooh. It's got some cookies in there. I mean, it's really sweet, guys. I don't know if I can do this chocolate. Mm. It's very rich. I like the cookies mm. in there. Um, it's less rich, less. Mm. It's actually a bit more sweet. Yeah. Um, I'll give it an eight and a half out of ten. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one. I'm gonna give that one an eight out of ten. At one of the game shops, I just saw this massive, massive block of Meiji chocolate, and I just, <laughs> I just had to get it. I just had to. They had. Um, they had a few. They had um, they had a huge pocky, mm. like giant pocky. So you could get pocky sticks that are like thirty centimeters. Only in Japan. Yeah, and so they had these massive blocks of chocolate. And I think Meiji is what equivalent to their Cadbury, maybe. Yeah, well, let's, let's give it a go. Yeah, <laughs> Meiji chocolate. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Beautiful it's chocolate. It's like. It's like they're lint, but not as sweet. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it's like Cadbury, but not as sweet. Cadbury's a tad sweeter. Very smooth, very smooth chocolate. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna give that nine out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten. I'll, I'll I'm gonna give it a that's, strong nine out of ten. That's great chocolate. We should just um, cleanse our palate and we'll take a break. And this is oh yeah, okay. This is a, a Mountain Dew that I got over there. Oh. Anyway, this, this is what's left, and I got a Mountain Dew one. <laughs> It's violet flavored Mountain Dew. Oh, sorry. Violet with a grape. Mountain Dew. Let's see. Ladies first. Yum. It just tastes like a grape drink. Mm. It just tastes like, imagine Mountain Dew, but with grape. Delicious. It's very um, subtle. It's not. It's not as sweet. Yeah, yeah. It's not as sweet. And like, not probably as... when you drink Mountain Dew, you get that boom. Sweet sugar. Yeah. This is subtle. Yeah. Mm, it's really nice, actually. Mm. Um, now, with the Kit Kats, so we're going to go into these ones first. I don't even know what this one is, but it looks like it's, again, a matcha flavor Kit Kat. Again, it's really green. Mm. It's very strong. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. No. Nah. It's very, very, very strong. It's like the, almost like the Pocky. I think it's seaweed. No, nah, it's matcha. Definitely matcha. I can taste it I'll straight give away. It a strong four out of ten. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. Got this Easter edition. Banana. Mmm. Oh my god. It's Delicious. banana flavored Kit Kat. Mm. Wow. I like it. It's like a strong banana flavor. That's very nice. The next one is looks like a strawberry mochi Kit Kat. Um, which one's that one? Oh, uh, it's got this like weird. You can taste mochi actually, but um, it's like a weird kind of. I'm not a fan. Um, I'll give it a strong three out of ten. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a four. Next up, we've got this. I think it's it coffee, up. or it looks like tea leaves. Coffee. Coffee hair. Mm. Mm, interesting. Coffee, coffee Kit Kat. The coffee Kit Kat. What you get? What would you give it? The coffee Kit Kat. That's the one that we had before the battery died. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll give that. I'm gonna give it a six. I actually quite liked it. I uh, I like coffee, and if I want, if they saying there's coffee in the chocolate, I wanted the flavors to be prominent in the chocolate. So I didn't really get that a strong coffee kick out of it. So uh, for this. Chocolate, I'll be giving it a strong 4 out of 10. Oi, guys, this guy is drunk. Look how pink he is. 
No, I'm thinking because it's hot in here. I'm you're, yeah, you. Yeah, but you're drunk. Your body heat is 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 waving at me. It's like. But you're drunk. I'm not drunk. I had two glasses of Bailey's, which I got from Japan. <laughs> I'm gonna title this video "Drunk Drunk Japan Snack Hauls" with Chris. No. All right, next I'm one. Title this amateur hour. Next one in is Japan. The, next one is this um, matcha flavor. One like this one was matcha too, but see how it's like dark green. So I'm thinking this might be like a less strong matcha. Less prominent flavors. Taste, yeah. Mmm, this one's much better than the other one. I don't like neither of them, and I'm gonna give it a strong three out of ten. I don't mind that one. Oh, I actually like that one. It's very subtle. The other one was way too strong. I'm gonna give that a good five. A good I respect five. your decision. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching up until the end of the video as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had so much fun filming it. There's just so much snacks still in front of us. I'm just going to share them with our family and friends. Please give this video a thumbs up for Chris's efforts. Um, I'm going to leave his links down below if you guys would like to follow him and check we get, out. We got through a lot of, uh, we got, we got through a lot of shenanigans. And check out his Instagram. Um, I don't really use Instagram or social media because... Okay, well, what am I plugging then? Uh, my YouTube channel. You don't have one. Uh, Cooking with Chris. He wants to start a YouTube channel. No, guys. it's up and running. It will be up and running by the time uh, this video is complete, processed. It takes... It's about a three-week turnaround to... <laughs> I'm going to leave uh, Chris's details... In the link below. In the link down below. In a link down. <laughs> Depending on what <laughs> name's available, it'll be either Cooking with Chris or yeah. Chef Chris is Cooking. Oh um, my god. Chrissy can cook or. Chrissy can cook. Or um, Mother of Elias. Or. Uh, I got. DJ Crossbro with cooking skills. So All right, whatever it's going to be, the link will be down the below. The link will be down below. If there's any other links that are also down below, don't worry about them. Just worry about this one. <laughs> um, please subscribe to my channel um, to keep up with us. We don't um, have many followers or viewers. Thanks, babe. Elias says, yes, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you again, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.